Hey everyone, so a lot of people ask Brett and I all the time, hey, what do I start with when I go and I watch these Star Wars movies? Like, do I go with episode one? Do I go with episode four? Mm -hmm. and, and here's what I do. I always recommend you start with four because I feel like there's a lot more life lessons from four, five, and six. You know, one through three was okay, but four, five, and six, a lot of life lessons that can actually translate to real estate. So like, what, what did you get out of four, five, and six that might help somebody try to do better in real estate? Well, I think the biggest thing for me between four, five, and six and one, two, and three, the prequels, are that the originals, what, what George did that was different is until that time when you had science fiction, everything was clean. Everything was very metallic, perfect looking. Well, George created a universe that looked like it was lived in. And because of that, it hasn't really aged as much as a lot of movies have. You can watch it now, and even though it was made in 77, it looks like it was fairly modern. Now, when you contrast that to the prequels, it looks very plastic. It looks very fake and CG. So I think what draws a lot of people to those classic original movies is the authenticity of it, that it's the realness of it, uh, and there's just that kind of comfort that comes from there that the, the shiny is not so good. So I think when you look at real estate, it's a lot of the same thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's always a new shiny toy, but uh, you know, going with the classic values and being authentic. I think it's always one of the best ways to go. Yeah, I mean, if you watch four, five, and six, obviously it's more of storytelling, content, authenticity, kind yeah. of being real, and then it's like trying to mimic that, but not have the story, and just making it flashy didn't seem to work. Mm -hmm. Which is why, you know, for me, four, five, and six makes more sense. Sure. So one thing that really resonated with me from Empire Strikes Back, even at such a young age, I remember watching this movie, and Yoda made this mm -hmm. one comment. Brett, what was mm -hmm. that comment? Do not try do or do not. There is no try. Exactly. So do or do not, there is no try. And I think that that is really something that we can take and we can implement in our business because so many times we try things. I'm going to try open houses. I'm going to try mailing a few pieces. I'm going to try calling FISBOs. Instead of trying these things, tell yourself, I'm going to implement this, my, implement this in my business plan and make it work. And, and tell yourself, I need to do whatever I have to to make it work because I see so many folks that try things and if you try it and don't have success, it doesn't mean it won't work. Exactly. It might mean that you just need somebody else from the outside to look at it and say, you might want to change this, this, or this. Or you might want to look at it yourself and say, okay, I normally lead people through the open house. Why don't I let them go and just ask them questions? So you should constantly reevaluate your business and things like social media, you can't break it. If you're still thinking about doing Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, stop thinking about it and just do it because you won't break anything and you're not going to know that it works for you until you really deep dive in. So I know, you know, try a few of these things, but as you're trying to tell yourself, how do I make sure that this works and I generate income from it? Brilliant. So obviously within Star Wars, there are a ton of analogies and there's analogies everywhere that tie into real estate and life lessons. And, you know, I hope by listening to us, you know, you kind of see our love for Star Wars and for those movies and how they've impacted our lives. And if it's not Star Wars, what is it for you? Where can you learn about how to get better in real estate from outside, you know, influences and things going on in your life to help drive you a little bit? For me, you know what, it's not like I took my little Star Wars toys when I was little and had them selling real estate, but over time as I've grown and I watch those movies now, I'm constantly learning something new that I can implement in business. Well, and I think the most important thing out of all of this though to know is that Han shot first. And I, if you take away nothing, anything else, know that Han shot first. Uh, and I think you maybe would agree with that. So. Also, Obi-Wan yeah. never told you, did he? Tell me what. I am your father. That's not true. That's impossible. <laughs> In real estate, you can be Chewbacca. <laughs> or you can be Jar Jar Binks. So it's up to you to choose which path you go, the light path or the dark side of the force. Don't be Jar Jar Binks. Don't ever be Jar Jar. He's terrible. Yeah.